we, we decided quite a few years ago now, after a, a lot of sort of requests from the clinical teams at the PH centres and from patients and their, their, their sort of kinship to produce some material around uh, contraception and, and the whole issue about pregnancy, which has, has changed over the last sort of 20 years. Uh, in the video, we, we, we're using one of the, the uh, senior uh, nurse specialist from the, the Royal Brompton in London, Carl Harris, uh, who's got a lot of experience with uh, uh, over sort of 15, nearly 20 years now of, of, uh, of pH and how things have changed, how we manage it differently and having those conversations there. So it's very sort of factual but honest experience in that one. And then uh, Dr Helen Stockdale, who's GP, who's been working with us on, on this project. Uh, from a, a more day-to-day um, -day practical experience point of view. Um, and Helen is, is the person who's done uh, the majority of the, 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 the text for the, for the book that, that uh, really complements this video. Yes, there are some drugs that have an interaction with the contraceptive pill, um, namely a, a drug called Bosantan or otherwise known by its trade name as Triclia. It can reduce the effectiveness of the pill and therefore make you more likely to become pregnant if you are taking that medication. And there are special instructions to, that go along with taking such medication where you do use two forms of uh, contraception or it may be that you have to do an increased dose of the contraceptive pill that you're taking. My advice generally speaking about giving a list of different things is that it's really helpful. I know in, in, when I see people in clinic and things like that and have conversations with other health professionals that as in a person with a, a said condition and again it's about being pre-armed and that is, is Always make sure you've got an up-to-date list of drugs that you're on. Not just your pH drugs, but all your drugs. So if you're seeing a, uh, somebody, uh, somebody's giving you some advice about family planning or an obstetrician or even, you know, whatever, that, that you've got an up-to-date list. I've seen many times people sort of try to think, oh, I have a blue one and a pink one, I think I take it that time. Having that list is really useful. So then that advice can be, and if, if in doubt, always ask that. And probably the best person people to ask are people like pharmacists and chemists rather than nurses and doctors who are experienced, but they have, that's their, their sort of real area of, of, of experience and they'll be able to get that answer, but always ask the question. So again, it's an informed choice that the patient has to make uh, with regards to um, taking contraception and knowing there's an interaction with their medication. And it's important that we do tell them about that, especially when they, for example, are taking antibiotics, which can also interact with the contraceptive uh, pill. And there may well be in a need to use additional forms of contraception. The contraception that is going to interact with any medication, like we said earlier, is the ones with the hormones in. So all the different types that rely on a hormone, um, you know, stopping you from ovulating. Um, Generally, if somebody is prescribing a medication for you, they should always ask what medication you're on. And if they're going to prescribe something that does interact with the contraception, they certainly should be asking about your contraception. Um, but it's always worth reminding them just in case they don't, or you, um, just to be absolutely sure, just remind them what medication you're on, including what type of contraception that you're on. The really common ones um, that we come across more are and some certain antibiotics. Um, so generally, if the doctor's giving you or a nurse is giving you the antibiotics, just double check and say, do I need to do anything extra with my contraception? Um, so people sometimes forget about the herbal remedies. They think that they've got no interaction with uh, sort of Western medicine or whatever you like to describe it. But actually the herbal medication can sometimes interact. So um, wherever you're getting your herbal medication from, just double check with them as well. But it won't interact with your medication. Well, this refers really to the tablets, the contraceptive tablets, so the combined or the mini pills. Um, obviously, if you can't keep anything down and you throw it back up, that's going to happen with a pill as well. 
Um, people often seem to remember that about vomiting, but if they're vomiting, that's the same as missing a pill, so you've got to take extra precautions for another seven days. It's the same though with diarrhea. Um, if it's going straight through you, that pill isn't going to be absorbed. Um, and, and often that's the, the time that people forget um, to take added precautions. Um, rule of thumb is if you think you've missed a pill or if your body's not absorbed the pill for whatever reason, think seven days. Um, it can vary a little bit about what extra cover you need. Uh, it'll all be very clear on your pill packets what to do in that situation.